are you? Um, nurture. <coughs> We're going straight in. Uh, this is just about doing things that feel nice to your body. We're going to warm up gently. There's nothing that's going to overexert us today. I really want you to go inward, listen to your body, use, use the layers of the days that we've done so far, especially the, the inward ones, to really listen and notice. Okay, just cultivate some good feelings inside. Open the arms. We're just going to bend down. Inhale up. <sighs> Exhale down. So with good form, because it's good to move the body, our body feels good once it's moved. It doesn't always have to be bam, 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 day power. That's great. It doesn't always have to be that way. It's great to have different ways of moving the body. So listen to your body as you bend low. <sighs> Inhale up. Keeping the navel in, the shoulders down, the chest lifted, easing through our joints, maybe lifting the shoulders as we go up to then draw them down. A couple more of these. Down and lift and down and lift. Really nice. Bring the feet parallel. I'm going to face this way so you can see me. We're going to bend and act up. We'll take the arms to the second. As we bend, I want you to round through the back. I think contemporary dance here. Chin to chest. And as you push the floor away, open the chest, squeeze the shoulders together, keep the navel in, support the lower back. Exhale forwards. Inhale up. Good, keep it going. Exhale forwards. Inhale up. Squeezing the buttocks as you come up. Exhale forwards. Inhale up. If you're feeling off balance, you can do this with the feet hip distance apart for more stability if you need to. Again, for four. Open. Three, lift the pelvic floor. Push the floor away. Two, lift, and one, and lift. And I'll take your feet hip distance apart. We're going to do some roll downs. I've chosen moves today that feel nice, so they should feel good for you. If they don't, modify them so they do. Soft knees, shoulders down. Gently keeping the pelvic floor lifted throughout as we roll down and up. That will support your lower back. So chin to chest. Now think up and over. As so though you're rolling over a little hoop here in the tummy as you start to roll down. Don't let anything else move. So I get to about here and I can feel like pulling in my hips already. But slowly go vertebra at a time. Slow it down. Keep even weight distribution through your feet. Pelvic floor lifted. Allow the shoulders to round and slump forwards. Take it all the way down. If you prefer working with straight legs because your hamstrings are really open, then you can. But otherwise, bend your knees as much as you need to. It's fine when you get to the bottom. Hang here. Relax your head. Give it a shake and a nod. Breathe into your belly. Notice your lower belly as it expands on an inhale. As it exhales, send your hips a little higher. Lift your pelvic floor and allow your chest and head to go lower. Push into all four corners of the feet. Let's start that slow roll up. Slowly, slowly. Notice, be really mindful here. Be strict with yourself. One vertebra at a time. Really allowing the back to lengthen here. Pushing the floor away. Listening to your body. Inhaling at the top. Take a breath. Notice how you feel. Maybe a bit longer. Breathe in to lengthen, push the floor away. We're going once more. Chin to chest, pelvic floor lifts. Just the upper vertebrae, the neck. Bend, start to work your way down. Shoulders between your thomboids here. I'm so relaxed doing this. I'm almost dribbling. I can't really talk properly. I love a roll down. Keep your hips in line with your heels. Remember, you can soften the knees. Just keep listening to your body as you roll down. When you get to the bottom, just hang there. Or you can sway or you can be still. Full breath in. Audible, long exhalation out. And again, a full breath in. Go deeper into relaxation as you exhale. Pushing into all four corners of the feet. Here we go. Vertebra at a time, rolling up. Slow it down. Telling our brain here to get our parasympathetic nervous system 
stimulated, calming the body, calming all the physiological systems, roll the shoulders at the top, hell, forget it, let's do it again, inhale, lengthen, exhale, chin to chest, Rolling down, mindful, mindful. Listen to your body. Your body knows best. Trust that you personally can make decisions on your movements and make modifications better than any instructor can give you just by listening to your body. Hang here at the bottom. Take a big deep breath in through the nose. Let it go. When you're ready, rolling up, slow, slow, slow. Pushing the floor away with all four corners of your feet. What are you noticing? How do you feel? Roll the shoulders back at the top. Interlock your hands behind. Put your palms together if you can. If you can't, then you can just keep the fingers working strong. Palms together. Draw your shoulders together and down. And then draw your arms down and away. And now breathe into your chest. Take a little head movement. Gentle, gentle, side to side, just so there's no stiffness here. Breathe. Notice... The, how the chest starts to open. It might resist at first, but notice how it starts to open as you breathe. And then slowly release. Really nice. So we're going to come down onto our mats now. We're going to start lying down actually <clears throat> with our knees, but we're going to do some pelvic tilts. So again, really nice for your pelvic floor, but also lovely to help lengthen out the spine. And I'm going to add a little arm today. So feel your back flush with the mat, feel nice and supported. Have a wiggle, do whatever you need to do. Tuck your chin slightly. Take a breath in. Now as you exhale, squeeze your pelvic floor in and up. Start to tilt the hips and then start to lift them. Keep your knees over your ankles. You can work at a height that's comfortable for you today. Chin towards your chest. And then inhale your arms up and overhead. Keep reaching your fingertips in one direction as the feet stay where they are. And I want you to roll down on an exhale. Imagine you're trying to lengthen your buttocks away from your shoulders. So you're getting length through the spine. This will feel awesome if there's any tightness in the mid back all the way down, so you're lengthening your buttocks towards your heels, and then inhale, lower the arms. And we exhale, zip, tilt, and peel up. Keep it fluid, nothing too strong here at all. Little bit, um, sorry, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, lengthen away from your shoulders as you slowly curl all the way back down. Little movements will serve you really well, okay? It doesn't always have to be big and powerful. Inhale, arms down. Can be, listen to your body. Exhale, tilt, zip up through the pelvic floor, pelvic floor working, supporting you here, hips go up. Inhale, arms up and overhead. Exhale, lengthen down and away as you reach the fingertips one way, tailbone the other. Inhale, arms down. One more, here we go. Exhale, zip and tilt. Peeling up. Soft face, soft jaw. Inhale, arms up overhead. Keep the feet glued down and reach the fingertips and then drawing your hips towards your heels as you peel back down. <sighs> Lowering your arms down and this time drawing your hips in really close, giving yourself a hug and have a rock from side to side here. Feel your back out on the mats. If it feels nice, you can lift the head, forehead towards your knees or you can just keep it nice and low, whatever feels better. Perfect. Let's take happy baby. Knees towards armpits, take hold of the outside of the feet, draw your legs towards you just here for a couple of breaths as you send your hips towards the bottom edge of the mat, breathing into the back. Full breath in. Full breath out. And then hands behind, let's roll up, 
all the way to seated. We're going to take a seated forward fold. If you've got tight hamstrings, put something under your knees here so that they can relax in a bent position. Okay. If not, feet are hip distance apart. Place the hands down, sitting nice and tall, navel in. Notice your spine really long here. Notice your heels and both sit bones on the floor, grinding you down. Let's inhale, float up. Remember your knees can be bent if you need to. Exhale, up and over, all the way down. Now I can't emphasise enough how important it is and how much benef more beneficial it is to get your torso onto your legs. So if you're here and there's loads of space, bend your knees, guys. Draw the body forwards by gently hugging on the feet. If you can do it with the legs straight, great, but it takes time to get there, a lot of time. So relax your head wherever you are. Breathe into your belly. So as you inhale, feel your lower belly expand on your side. Feel the back fill up with air as well. And as you exhale, sucking up through the pelvic floor and navel, allowing you to gently draw your chest forward millimeter more stick with that breathe slowing down your breath as you lengthen your spine and as you calm your nervous system and you soften your face and shoulders you open out any unwanted tension in the hips and glutes Easing the hamstrings, keep breathing. So many good things happening right here. And then slowly roll up. Nice. Hug your left leg in, right towards you. So you can keep it here if you want a deeper stretch, you can take the arm over. Take your left hand behind, inhale, lengthen. Right toes are flexed, exhale, navel in, poise like yesterday, but twist. Breathing up and down the length of the spine. Breathing into your organs, massaging internally, noticing how you feel. Exhale, release, switching sides. Right foot comes in, left foot is flexed. Hug the leg in towards you, right arm behind. If you inhale, lengthen. Chest lift, shoulders down. Exhale, easing into a twist. See if you can slow down the breath anymore. Exhale, slowly release. If you need to take any movement that feels good, then go for it. Otherwise, we're going to come into pigeon just before we finish. So come onto the hands and knees, maybe have a little uh, sway side to side with the hips, and then bring your right leg under with the heel close to your left hip flexor. You can start to just shimmy that left leg back. Now, if you can't get straight down the middle, if you feel wonky one side or the other, pop cushions, padding, anything, a jumper, where you feel like you need to, to keep the hips square, you should be able to go straight down the middle. When you're ready, inhale to lengthen. Exhale. Start to take it down towards the forearms. Maybe you come all the way down. Maybe you can rest your forehead on your hands, gently stimulating the third eye. Wherever you are, find some stillness. We're just here for a few breaths. Breathe into attention and just allow yourself to sit with any discomfort in the hips, the glutes. Soften your jaw. Soften your shoulders and back. Use your exhale to let go of anything that no longer serves you. And 
then slowly pushing up. Back to the hands and knees. Again, take any movement that you need to. Maybe straightening the right leg, maybe some hip circles, maybe some cat-cow, movement with the head, maybe a little freestyle. And then just slide your left leg underneath. Same thing on this side. Take time getting to a, a posture, an asana that suits you today. Shoulder set. Breathe. Start to lengthen your way forwards and down. Notice your breath. Taking your gaze maybe to the third eye, really relaxing. Notice if you're gripping anywhere. Can you breathe into any tension or gripping? Can you use your exhale to release? Notice where the breath goes as you inhale. Notice any sensations as you exhale, as your body starts to ease. Full breath in, full breath out. And again. And then slowly start to push up. And we're going to finish today in child's pose. Taking your big toes to touch, your knees wide. And you can start here with the fingers extended out to have a little back stretch. Take a couple of breaths here. And then if that feels nice, stay there. Or you might want to bring the knees a bit closer and take the hands either side of the legs and just allow your head to really melt down here. So you've got quite a lot of your body in contact with the floor, your forearms, tops of the feet, the shins, the head. Breathe into your belly. And just again, notice here if you're holding anywhere, if you're gripping. And really have that feeling in this, in this pose of surrender. I surrender. And sometimes if I'm totally overwhelmed, that's my go-to. I surrender. And just be still with this just for a minute. And as you breathe into the back body, almost feel that wave of ease washing over you. Soften the hips, the face, the hands, the toes. Notice how the breath moves you, but you stay still still and grounded to the floor, the ground, the earth. Keep breathing, allowing the shoulders, the back to melt either side of the leg. When you're ready, slowly pushing into the hands and feet. Roll it up. Roll the shoulders back. Come up to kneeling. Take one hand over to your shoulder, opposite shoulder, and just give it a gentle rub or the neck. Anything that feels nice. Maybe put a little pressure, take a little head stretch. Working on the other side when you feel satisfied. And then just take a
take a breath. <sighs> Thanks guys, let me know how you're getting on. We're so nearly done, um, a few days left. Have a really good day, week, and I will see you tomorrow for another day.